All right, today we are going to learn about and, or, and not concepts. These are extremely important concepts because this is something that is not just specific to SQL. This, these concepts are used in almost every programming language. So let's say after SQL, you plan to learn Python or you plan to learn Java, you will learn about and or not condition. But what are and or not conditions? Simply said, in and, all conditions need to be true. In or, just one condition needs to be true. And with not, it displays if a condition is not true. Does that make sense? If not, let's do it with an example. So we have, if you, if you, if you have forgotten, we have this customer table and I've written select star from customer. When I do that, I get a list of all the customers that are in this table. Now let's add a condition to this where I say where city equal to Delhi and country equal to United States. I know this is not a true condition, but I want to show you what the output is going to be. So what this is saying is I'm asking SQL to give me a list of customers who live in city Delhi and are also living in United States. So let's run this. And when I run this, I should not get any output because both conditions are not true. So let's run this. And there you go. I do not get anything. Now let's run or now when I do or only one condition needs to be true, right? So it's giving SQL should give us a list of customer who either live in city Delhi or live in United States. So let's run this and I will get United States, right? I get four customers who live in United States, which is this. And I get two customers who live in Delhi. Now let me show you this. Let me type in some dummy values. X, Y, Z, A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. This is completely made up data. We know there's no country that is X, Y, Z, A, B, C, D, E, F. But when I have the or condition, what SQL is looking at, it is looking at a list of all the customers who live in city Delhi or live in this made up country. Only one condition needs to be true. We know that there are two customers who live in Delhi. So that is the output that I'm expecting. So let's run this and verify if this works. There you go. Okay. Now if I replace this with and, what do you think is going to happen? I'm not going to get any output. The reason is SQL is going to look at the entire customer table to see if there's any customer who lives in city Delhi and, and lives in this made up country. So let's run this. And there you go. It will not return any results. Now let's look at the not concept. So I'm going to remove this piece and I'm going to say, where city, when not city equal to Delhi. So what this means is I'm saying, Hey, SQL, can you give me a list of all customers who do not live in city Delhi? So when I do this, I get people in India who live in Bhubaneswar, Chennai, Meerut, Nashik, but I do not get a list of uh, customers who live in city Delhi. And by the way, you can combine statements. So I can say where not city equal to Delhi or country equal to United States, right? So I can do this, run this, and now I am getting one of these two conditions, right? Let's do and and see what happens. There you go. So what this is doing is, this is SQL is running these statements in, in couple of steps. So first it's say, okay, so let's start from customers where city is where not city equal to Delhi. So what this really means is SQL is saying, okay, I'm going to look at all customers who do not live in city Delhi. So it finds a list of customer. It brings down that list. Then from that list, it is, it is looking at a list of customers who live in United States. And that gives us these four customers. I hope this is clear, but I'll highly recommend if you write your own SQL commands, make mistakes, figure out the, the, uh, the output, that's how you're going to learn SQL. You're going to get better at it by writing more SQL queries. I'll see you in the next video.